Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Cubic and today we're going to be covering the next part of our series about how to install the Hand Staff Elite panel, which is also known as the Staff Panel. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to get straight into it uh, and get going with it. It is a bit of a lengthy process, there are quite a number of steps, um, so we'll try and explain it as much as possible. Um, but again, like usual, if you have any questions, feel free to open up a uh, support ticket on the HAMS Discord, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so with this uh, installation, we're gonna be assuming a couple of things. So one, that you've already got web hosting set up, uh, and two, that you've already got a Discord bot set up. If you haven't already got a Discord bot set up, head over to my first video where I fully explain how to make a Discord bot uh, fully works with the HAMS system. Um, and if you are uh, still in the process of looking for web hosting, do check out our partner simplisticnode.com. Uh, they will be able to provide you with the web hosting and domain names that you require. So going straight into it, I am going to be referencing the documentation a bit because there are some steps in here that you will need to copy and paste. So do make sure that you have the documentation open when you are completing the installation. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head over to the HAMS website. So we're going to go to store.hams.dev, log in in the top right hand corner, and then you're going to scroll down until you see the HAMS staff elite PHP files and the HAMS staff panel elite in-game resource. So we're going to do the PHP files first, then we're going to do the in-game resource. So download the PHP files. And open up the zip folder. We're now going to extract it like usual. And once that's extracted, we're then going to go into the web folder. Do, 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 do. Awesome. So uh, head into the web files head into the hams staff folder and you'll see all of these folders now what we're going to do is we're going to do control a and we're going to go compress to zip file awesome don't worry about the folder name you're not going to need that now log into your cpanel web hosting or whatever web hosting you're using direct admin or whatever scroll down until you see file manager head into the public underscore HTML folder, and there's nothing here. So now click on upload, go and find that folder that you just made and drag and drop. Allow it to upload, close the tab, click reload. On here, right click in anywhere in the blue bar and click extract. That's your files now uploaded. One disclaimer I always make in the videos, make sure to delete the zip folder, do not have that lingering around. If, for example, someone wants to find out about it and download it, you are responsible for managing your own files, so that it can potentially lead to you getting in trouble. And that's not what we want. Right click on the config.php file and then click on edit. Now in here, it's gonna ask for a couple of things. Firstly, it's gonna be your MySQL database information. So head back over to the, nope, sorry, I've missed it again. Did that on the last video. No, line number nine is gonna be asking for the web address. So my domain name that I'm using here is tutorial.hams.pro. So pop that in there after the HTTPS slash slash, and then click save. Next is going to be the MySQL database information, lines 12 to 15. Head back over to cPanel, scroll down until you see Manage My Databases, and open that up. Now we're going to create a, a new database called Staff. Grab the database name and pop that into the config file on line 15. Click Go Back. Scroll down until you see add, um, add user to database and we're going to add the user admin. This is one we've previously created. If you haven't already got one created, just simply type in a username, type in a password, click create. Um, so we're going to add that one to the staff panel. 
add all privileges and click then go back. At the bottom of this, um, just because I don't have the password saved, I'm just going to click on change password. You don't need to do this unless, of course, you've got the password. And then the database username is just tutorial underscore admin for me. And that's MySQL set up. Whilst we're on MySQL, we're then going to come out of that and go back to cPanel. Scroll down until you see PHP My Admin and load into that. Click on the folder on the left hand side and then click on staff. Click on import. Go back to the folder structure we had earlier and then click on Hams Staff Panel Elite. Go into SQL files. Click on the uh, single click on the MySQL file. Drag and drop anywhere onto the page. It will upload and say success. To verify that it's been uploaded, click on structure and there's your all of your information. So that's the MySQL side done. So we're gonna come out of that one. Next is give you the Discord OAuth information. So for me, I'm gonna go and reset the, the bot information. So we're gonna head over to discord.com slash developers, go into the bot that you have, go into OAuth, grab the client ID, head into the client secret, now this is where you may need 2FA, or it might send a text message to your phone, or it might send a email to you, just to verify that it's you. Once you're inside of that, click on copy. That's gonna be your client ID secret. Next, whilst we're here, we're gonna pop in the redirect. So we're gonna go, well, this one's already done from the previous video. Let's just pretend that isn't there. But you're going to pop in the domain name that you've popped in for the installation, slash actions, slash register.php, and click Save Changes. Next, click on Bot and Reset Token. Click Copy. And then we're going to pop the token ID just in there. Next, you want the guild ID, so head into Discord and just grab the guild ID of your Discord server. And then click uh, copy and then paste. Next, is it your secret key, line 25? So this one for me personally, I just go to random.org and use the password generators. Grab a random one and paste that in there. You will need this later. Steam ID, uh, Steam API, sorry. Head over to the website that's next to it, steamcommunity.com slash dev slash API key. Log in, grab your API key. Go back to the right tab and click paste. Next, your server configuration. So this is where you're going to need your server name. For me, I just generally put, if it's a vMenu server, I just put a vMenu. Uh, you can change it to whatever you like, but make sure to save that in the in the future. Your IP, your port, and your server recon password. So I'm going to pop in my information. Okay, so I'm now going to pop in my uh, server information, and that's now done. Next, it's going to be an admin role ID. So go back into Discord, grab a role ID for a server sorry, for a role that's going to have full admin permissions over your uh, staff panel, essentially. If you want more roles, just keep on adding more with commas at the end, but for me, I'm just going to have one. Next is going to be your Kubicore integration. So if your server runs Kubicore, um, put, change this from false to true and pop in your uh, Kubicore MySQL database information. This is going to be uh, so that the staff panel can connect up and get your um, Kubicore information, essentially. So that is then this done. So that's your config file done. So next, you're going to head over to license.hamscad.com, where you'll then need to log in. 
click on authorize. At the bottom, you'll see staff panel license. Now for me, I'm going to change this to tutorial.hams.pro. Click on update. So that's your license now done. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to just double check a couple of things just to make sure uh, that the, the actual website is actually going to be able to run correctly. So firstly, we're going to double check the PHP version. Now, with the Hamscad installation, the latest one does require you to be running 7.4. So 7.4 is now running. And we're also going to have to set up some cron jobs in a second, which I'll go over in a minute. Um, the other one is as well, you are going to have to add in a Apache headers. So we'll do that one now. Head over to uh, cPanel manager. Top right hand corner, click on settings. And then click on show hidden files. And then click a save. Open up the .hda access file, right click and edit. Now in here, underneath all of the cPanel generated information, head over to the documentation and click on optional Apache headers. Copy the code that's there and paste it and save changes. Now, yes, it is optional. However, most cPanel hosts do strip Apache headers, which is a requirement for the panel to run correctly. So if you are noticing an error in your console, make sure to have this enabled inside of your HTA access file. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is head over and do the cron job. Now, I'm going to have my config file open because I am going to need a little bit of information from here. So go back into cPanel, click on cPanel, scroll down until you see cron jobs. At the bottom, underneath advanced, and open it up. Now this is where it's going to become a little bit daunting, but don't worry. So we're going to head back over to the documentation and then click on cron job. Now, every minute this cron job must run. So we're going to copy this one, go into cron jobs. Now cPanel has made this really easy. Click on common settings and once per minute. And that's going to set up all of that. Paste your command in. Now there's two things you're going to have to edit in here. Number one is your domain. Number two is your secret. So go back into your config.php file. We're going to grab the secret key and paste that at the end. And then the domain, this is going to be the tutorial.hams.pro and paste that just there. Once that's done, click on add new cron job. So you want to, it will basically look something like this. Next, there is another cron job that we need to add, which is going to be the once per hour. So again, copy the command, go back into cron jobs, common settings, once per hour, paste the command. We're going to grab the secret and we're going to grab the domain. And then click add new cron job. And that's your cron jobs now done. Click back into cPanel. And that is going to be the web installation side of things done. So just so we can have a little play around with it and just double check that it works, head out to the tutorial, tutorial, sorry, the domain, tutorial.hams.pro. And you'll now see the logon screen. Click on login. Click on authorize. And there's your information. Now, a couple of things just to be aware of. If your web hosting provider has a firewall, which in most cases they should, um, they will block incoming and outgoing connections. So what you may have to do is reach out to your hosting provider, provide them your server IP address that your 5 host server is hosted on, and ask for them to whitelist it. If you're with Simplistic Node, uh, just open up a Discord ticket provide them your IP and they'll get it whitelisted. Um, some hosting providers, people like GoDaddy, Namecheap, etc. They are a little bit more reluctant to do that. Um, so it might be worth going with like a smaller web hosting company rather than one of the giant ones. 
but once the white the IP's been whitelisted, you will then be able to see how many players you've got online, um, and a lot of other information that normally you wouldn't be able to see. So down the left-hand side, you've got online players, all players, reports, evidence database, bolo players, and this, that, and the other. And you've got panel settings at the bottom. So we're now going to head over and do the in-game resource. So what you want to do is go back over to the store where it says in-game files. This is going to be on Keymaster. So make sure that when you purchased the product that you put the correct Keymaster uh, username. So click on download Keymaster. Verify that you are a human. Sign in. Now you're going to look for, for me, I've got quite a few. So just type in hams, nope, type in karma, and then click on download. Open up the zip folder, extract. And now for me, for easy, I'm just going to open both of them up into code. We're going to edit the admin one first. So in this one, we're going to need a little bit of information. So we need firstly the URL. So the URL is going to be this one here, tutorial.hams.pro. Paste that in there. The server name. So this is what we, this is going to be this one here. So for me, I called it vmenu. Your token. This is going to be your secret. Your Discord link, you can pop here. Your webhook for logging here. Um, and this, that, and the other. Now, if you are using Badger Discord API, leave this as Discord. Pop in your Discord ID here that you want to be able to have access to these things. Or if you're using ACE permissions, change this to ACE and then make sure that your staff has access to these permissions. Um, so that is pretty much done. And what you want to do is come down here and change the webhooks. So this is going to be where screenshots are taken um, and just make sure that that is there. Um, that one is then now done. Head over to the report, click on config.lua Again, grab the URL, so that is the tutorial.hams.pro. Grab your server name, which is going to be vmenu. Grab the token, which is going to be your secret. Enter in the webhook, and again, Discord or Ace, whatever you prefer, and the role ID is here. And that is it. That is both of your serve, uh, your resources and your uh, online installation files fully set up and ready to go. Pop these into your resources folder, start them onto your server, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you do have some errors, um, feel free to open up a ticket with us and we'll gladly be able to assist you. Um, on the documentation as well, there are some common issues. So if, uh, for example, no, no players in your admin menu, follow this, um, missing parameters, etc. So yeah, so if there's any other questions, pop them in the comments below, open up a ticket, whatever is easiest for you. But that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully it's kind of explained how to set them all up um, and then pop them in game. Uh, I'm not going to just go over the how to put them in game because uh, by, by now you should know how to put resources into a server. Um, so yeah, apart from that, we'll see you on the next tutorial, uh, which is going to be the department panel.